Hey guys, Erin, happily we go here, and it is PB Journal Tuesday. First off, I want to say wow, wow, wow. Thank you guys so much. I My heart is so full. Thank you for all the love. I can't believe how many people made uh, paperback journals. Look at some of these fantastic creations over on Instagram. I couldn't tag everybody, but here's just a couple. If you do make one, be sure to tag me and then use this hashtag PB Journal so I can see all of your artwork over there. So now, to begin, hmm... Do you ever have a new journal and you open up the page and you're staring at it and you're like, hmm, what am I going to do? That's kind of where I'm at right now. Like, I, I'm stuck. I feel stuck. I have this great journal. Now, I've been in love, as you know if you've watched my videos, I love the Jack Richardson uh, pastels. They're gorgeous. They're chalky. They're so vibrant. But I was like, you know, I don't know. They're kind of pricey. Not everybody can use them. So what to do, what to do. And then I had this, ha-ha, my kids were out chalking. And I thought, oh, sidewalk chalk. I'm going to create an entire journal page using sidewalk chalk and a little bit of gesso. So look at these colors. Isn't this beautiful? It's like two bucks at Walmart. I bet you could probably even find them at the dollar store. So if you would like to see me get crazy and try and do a whole journal page with just this chalk, then just keep watching. For me, part of exploration is just seeing how I can push my medium. So first I'm going to just chalk all over the page with a couple different colors here. I don't really have a plan yet, um, but we're going to roll with it. I'm going to grab some clear gesso because I still want to be able to see some of the details from the paper bag underneath it. And I took my brush out of my water and it was way too wet, so all of my chalk just kind of disappeared with the gesso. Um, the, the one thing I will say during this is make sure you dry each layer before you go to the next one or your colors may blend a little bit together. So I'm going to just go over this and use the clear gesso with my finger. Don't know why I just didn't use my finger to begin with because that's pretty much always how I paint. So we're just going to keep layering on some colors here with clear gesso and the chalk. So as I was drawing my page, I thought, I wonder how I could layer these chalks. So I threw down some gesso onto a paper palette, and now I'm just using sandpaper, and I'm sanding some of the chalk. And then I'm gonna mix it with a paintbrush, and this is gonna give me almost kind of like a chalk paint, a little bit pastel-y. Um, and then here I'm just showing you, if you don't have sandpaper, you could totally use your scissors as well. So I blended up a few colors. I'm gonna grab my spatula, and I'm just going to kind of spatula it on down. So here I'm just taking the side of my spatula and creating some, um, I guess, stems. I was thinking, you know what, it's blue bonnet season right now in Texas, and I thought maybe I'll just make some blue bonnets on my page. So that might be kind of fun. So now I have a chopstick, and I've just dunked it into my paint, and I'm just kind of plopping it down with the end of my chopstick. Then I thought maybe I could use a stencil too. So I have a little bitty sponge piece that I've ripped off of a different sponge and I am sponge painting some of that same kind of chalky pink that we made. Now the sky was already a little bit light so the same color I used didn't really show up. And then I was like, oh, I wonder if I could just take the chalk and go straight over top of the stencil and then use a little bit of clear gesso on my finger and rub it through the holes. And that kind of worked too. That sort of gave it a different effect. So um, that is definitely something that you could try with yours too. I'm loving like these layers. I'm loving how they are, but I'm just feeling like I'm going to keep on pushing and you guys are probably going to go, what is she doing? But today's name of the game is exploration and play. So just keep on pushing. So 
I darkened up the sky with a little bit more of the blue and the clear gesso and now I'm going to go back over with that lighter blue color and the white gesso that we mixed up on the, the paint palette and put that through the stencil and it sort of gave it kind of like wavy clouds in the sky and then I thought it might be fun to kind of circle an area where my blue bonnets will be mostly featured and I'm not a landscape artist by any means. These are going to be very abstracty, um, but we're having fun with it. looking through the box of colors and I found the brownish chalk which is almost paper bag color so I thought that might be kind of fun to kind of pull back in some of that browns and you know more natural like colors so that's what I did here and then instead of adding uh, more of the clear gesso I thought you know what what I do with my portrait pieces after I've done a layer of the pastels is I use the workable fixative so I took this outside I gave it a little spray and it really brightened the colors up a bit and almost kind of pulled the background of the paper bag through the chalk again, which was a really neat effect. So now I'm thinking I'm just about done with the page and it's about time to do the sentiment. Um, so I grabbed some washi, I grabbed a little bit of thread, and I'm just gonna kind of play around um, and see what I wanna do with that. And then this was part of the handle of one of the bags that I ripped off when I made the journal. So why not you know, bring some of those scrap pieces back into the journal again? I thought that might be kind of fun. I'd taken a white pencil and drew around the outside kind of like a border just to test it out to see what it looked like and now I'm grabbing my matte medium to go ahead and glue down that uh, paper strip and the thread which you kind of really can't see the thread um, you know but hey we're playing I'm gonna brighten up uh, some more of the the page I thought maybe I wanted to have that white part there around the flowers to make them pop a little bit more because I thought maybe they were a little bit lost. And the chalk didn't seem to be doing it, so I just went ahead and grabbed gesso and I'll just use a couple layers of that to brighten up that white. And then I found a fun little sticker sentiment from the Tim Holtz uh, small chat line, I think it is. And I'm going to put that over top of our little paper bag handle there and just add a couple details with a black china marker and then add a, just a little bit more um, accent details with the chalk. Then I thought one last expiration before we call this done. I took a little bit of matte medium on my finger and stuck it on the page and then I'm shaving some of the chalk on top of that matte medium just to sort of give it a little speckled effect to see you know kind of how that would turn out. Oh, 
I'll take this outside and give it one last spray of the workable fixative. And look at that, it's got a pretty sheen. It has a great feel from that chalk. So I hope when you guys get to explore and you grab some chalk and you sidewalk chalk it right into your journal. I hope you had fun exploring with me today. I can't wait to see all of your creations over on Instagram. Be sure to tag me and until next time, happy creating.